for the inherited peripheral neuropathies, they represent really um, fairly common but diverse group of disorders, and they're uh, genetically heterogeneous. So for um, example, for our expanded panel, we're actually looking at um, over 100 genes. And that's spread across kind of um, several of these disorders, and, and uh, there's kind of three common clinical subsections of this, those disorders. And we run uh, uh, basically those 100 genes, and then we can subsection them based on the clinical presentation and clinical phenotype. We currently follow the ACMG guidelines for variant interpretation, but um, with next generation sequencing, since this is so new, um, we do have a lot of quality measures in place, um, even prior to we, us getting the results into our laboratory. So at Mayo, we have uh, a centralized facility that does all the sequencing. They have quality control measures to make sure uh, the steps along the way and ensure the quality of the samples as it's going through that um, sequencing laboratory. Once they're completed, then those results come up to our laboratory in the Clinical Molecular Genetics Laboratory, and they're reviewed by our technical specialists to make sure that uh, technically the results are accurate. And if there is anything that needs um, further evaluation, then they'll um, ask us to, as consultants to take a look at that. Um, from the technical specialist, once they've completed um, their review of the data, then that goes on to our genetic counselors. And if there's anything positive, um, meaning either pathogenic or a variation of uncertain significance, another alteration that we need to look into, the genetic counselors will do a complete literature review on those alterations. And again, they'll characterize those based on ACMG guidelines that are provided, and I should say ACMG is the American College of Medical Genetics. Um, and uh, so they do um, a thorough review. In addition to that, once they're completed, then we have a group of experts that essentially get together um, usually once a week to review any of the variants from that week that we haven't seen before and that haven't been classified as either benign or pathogenic. So any variants where there's any question, then we bring into a group of experts, including genetic counselors, um, including uh, consultants in laboratory medicine, and including consultants in neurology, so that we get the best interpretation for our patients um, and for the clinicians um, that have sent in those samples. The Collins Center at Mayo Medical Laboratories usually has all the information regarding the type of specimen, how to get that to us. For these um, more, um, I guess, um, complex tests that we're offering, then our genetic counselors do review the orders as they come in. And if there's any question regarding the order and, and why it was ordered or what the medical necessity was, then they'll actually call the physician or the client to try and get um, some of that information so that we know the correct test has been ordered. Um, obviously, we don't want to perform a complex test when uh, we have a much simpler solution within the laboratory. Our genetic counselors are very good up front at, uh, at helping to sort that out. Um, so they're a great resource. If there's any questions kind of pre-analytic as well for the genetic counselors, then we have an 800 number um, through Mayo Medical Laboratories that they can call and get a hold of one of the clinical molecular genetic counselors. Um, in addition to that, we have consultants on call every week, but then also um, there would be a direct line for myself um, or uh, whoever is signing out the case or has signed out the case if the physicians were interested um, in talking with us directly and uh, so that's usually you know just basically one uh, phone uh, transfer. In addition, one of the advantages of being at Mayo Medical Laboratories is really the interrelationship that we have with our clinician colleagues. So for example, this test was developed fully with um, Dr. Klein, who's uh, one of our neurology experts in peripheral neuropathies, and uh, it really had the clinical input and the clinical content for this assay. So um, not only is there access to myself, but we would also um, have access to someone like that as well. To me, that's one of the huge advantages of Mayo Medical Laboratories is that we're not a standalone commercial facility, that we actually aren't integrated into the practice at Mayo Clinic and have access to the, those colleagues. And so someone calling in asking a question, if it's one that I can't answer, then I can certainly refer them on to someone who can.